Welcome to another edition of Pixel Narratives with Anudosh. We have a wonderful guest with us today. She is a social worker. She is a national youth awardee, a motivational speaker, and a storyteller engaged in a variety of impactful initiatives, plays a pivotal role in various activities such as menstrual hygiene management programs, cleanliness drive, AIDS awareness programs, water and sanitation awareness programs, flood relief programs, and capacity building programs of, for the adolescents. I was just going through the long, elaborate work that she has done. We have with us Ms. Sumi Roy. Welcome to our studios. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to be here and uh, I'm really honored and I'm really thankful to uh, you and this podcast for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it's, 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 it's a pleasure and uh, in a very short uh, time that I had requested. Now Sumi, tell me, you are very young and at this age, how did you think that you would become a social worker? Uh, actually, uh, I haven't thought of to become a social worker. I haven't thought. Uh, but it was like, uh, you know, it says, no, uh, whatever comes to your way, it is good for you. So, uh, I, I was uh, just a student in college and uh, who was uh, like middle benchers. You know, I'm not, uh, in school I was like backbenchers. Then in college I came in a middle benchers. Then, our professors has found me uh, some activities that I am very enthusiastic to do those activities. So they always called and they said, okay, now you go and do this and that. And then the work has done. So they encourage, oh, you are good. So for at the return, I used to get samosas and, and the special recommendation from the teachers and professors. So slowly, slowly, the things turned out. Then I went, I, I was involved in a, a volunteerism in... A, flood relief programs, then yoga program, the mental health program, the menstruation. So one by one is coming, coming, coming and then I was engaged with all this. And you were a national youth awardee. Uh, how did, you know, how was your feeling when you received that wonderful uh, recognition? Yes. That too, it, I think, it, it, uh, is, quite a few years back. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the greatest achievement for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and as a as a youngster uh, and as a person who is involved with the social work, uh, for him or her, this uh, award is, means a lot. So I was in college, then after college I was associated with many volunteer organizations. Yeah. So I, I was just going through your, and uh, I mean it's a, such a wonderful uh, you know, CV, the uh, kind of work that she has done, she has accomplished in this very short period of time. It's really wonderful and uh, you know I, I just uh, didn't find out you know from where should I start and where should I end up because my entire show would go if I just start reading her uh, credibility I and mean, the work that she has done. I uh, just wanted to ask you, you did your schooling from Gopal Goro School. Yes, I have completed my education in Assamese language uh, oh, wow. Gopal Goro Sarkari Uchhatar Madhyamik Vidyalaya. So from an Assamese uh, medium school you speak very good English now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm an average person, I think. And if you are saying my English... Yeah, is because English. see, it, it, see, the medium of uh, instruction in our school is never totally... It does not, you know, define the person. You know, you have a lot yes. of scope to grow. But yes. then, the, yes, your school has uh, given you a lot of opportunity. Yes. And it is also your own initiative that you have uh, mastered uh, this language. And today you are so nicely talking to you, me. How did you get into NSS? Oh, um, before NSS, I would love to add one more point. So, uh, in Ganeshburi, Gopal Guru School is, was there. And then next to the Gopal Guru, there is a Dispur College. So, it is my father's strategy that I should not go any far college so that I should not spend money and I should not bunk my classes. Okay. So he was very strategically, he put me uh, in college. So I was like, no, after 10, I have to go to college. But my father said, no, you have to go to the school 
for twelfth, and then you start. Okay. But the condition. So he said he gave me one condition. If you get a seat in uh, Dispur College, fine. Or else you have to go back. Not to beyond Dispur College. No. Okay. So <laughs> there, uh, what happened? First two years, I was totally isolated. I was like here and there with the things. Then when I uh, come to uh, the graduation level. I have enrolled myself in NCC because in school I was an NCC. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I was in uh, naval cadet. Uh, in okay. school I was an army cadet, 60 okay. Assam. Okay. And then college I was in 48 Assam, so it's okay. a naval unit. And and you have got the certificates also B yes. and. Yes, uh, I, I have I have received B certificate, yes. NCC B certificate, mm -hmm. and C certificate. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I uh, my. At that time, there is a uh, vice principal and mm. the principal sir who acknowledged my uh, contribution and the professors. Mm -hmm. So slowly, slowly, the when NSS came, so I was completed my uh, NCC. Okay. So I was like free. Okay. So then, uh, and and in between in NCC, us uh, a, a cadet must have to do or must have to attend the Republic Day Parade Camp. That's that's that is a so big that is a great uh, mm. you know achievement for us. Yes. Because of my height, I was rejected three times. Okay. Because I was I was good in drill, I was good in my dresses and everything, but mm. because of my short height, I was not uh, able to uh, get the selection. Mm -hmm. So I thought one of my senior came and he said, "Why don't you try from NSS?" Okay. I said, "Okay, Republic Day, I will do." So my professor came and said, "You should go." So he encouraged, whatever it may be, it's NCC or maybe NSS, but you have to go. Okay. So I joined NSS, which is like the motto says, "Not me, but you." Okay. And uh, our vice principal, our principal sir, our professors, they put me, you know, small small social activities. So NSS came to my life and it changed actually because it says it's not for me, for you. So when we started our journey in NSS, I have. We 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 have uh, adopted villages, so we work for them. Then we wear, uh, you know, adults and girls education, menstruation hygiene, age awareness programs, so many things we did. And slowly, slowly, I was get involved. So in NSS, I received district youth award, and then the state youth award. So when I received and also the, the Republic Day. Uh, no, unfortunately, was I was unable to again get selection for uh, uh, Republic Day program okay. because of my. Short height, but so now, now uh, even that short height has not adhered with her zeal and dedication and determination. That height really doesn't matter. You know what matters is what zeal you have in you and uh, how to achieve it, and that's what shows um, that you know uh, you are talking about. Uh, height but then there are many people in the world they have scaled to the highest of their achievement uh, height never met, mattered and there are many people who are very tall and they have done nothing in their life i think so but you know being a student when you are uh, uh, you know you are very focused on such certain things which mm. is which is a, like a achievement for you like republic day parade camp is one of the greatest achievement okay. for a cadet and for yes, a volunteer yes and i was rejected for five times three times from ncc two times from nss so i was even even all those rejections for five times did not stop you from doing <laughs> things that normal people would never very few normal people would ever venture to do and i was just going through this that you have been associated with the chinmay mission yes and uh, how uh, did chinmay mission uh, you know they Uh, the your attachment to chinmay mission has actually groomed you yes. or uh, have given you a boost where you are today yeah um chinmay mission when i associated with chinmay mission uh, before that i thought i am not a religious person or a spiritual person mm. but as i am a social worker the 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 enthusiasm for doing some good things for uh, society it is inside me so of course uh, our professor now she is a vice principal of uh, this school college dr sunita agarwal ji i must mention her name she came and she said uh, after my graduation she came and she said uh, there is a course you have to go uh, so i said no i cannot go and she knows my the weakest point of mine is i love traveling so she came and said see you have to get lots of opportunities for traveling with a safer place 
and then the juniors of mine like uh, who did the previous courses of uh, uh, chinma mission under chinma mission they came and they said you know they will give you a free traveling food you have to go everywhere so in that way i came to chinma mission we went for a, a course called youth empowerment program which is a one year course it is uh, it is like a three months uh, study which is like learning three uh, nine months service uh, which is called surf and lifelong for grow so the motto of that course called learn surf and grow so i thought one year doesn't matter i love i just leave my job i said i give my resignation and uh, i asked sunita agarwal ma'am um, shall i go ma'am will you handle my parents she said yeah yeah you go i will handle your parents because my parents was not agree for me then i said chalo whatever anyways parents will like uh, you know after some time they will you know they will accept me so i went in after that course actually is the is the life changing course for me being an uh, a girl from a, you know a, a local medium school uh, who is a backbencher and then got the opportunity to work uh, to go for a course like which is like totally english medium so there i met uh, the spiritual guru uh, you know various students who came forward and they taught us uh, many things including english so and then from there i have been posted in uh, in himachal pradesh in an organization called uh, chinmaya organization for rural development where i have to serve for 9 months rest of the 9 months after my 3 months course there i met some you know foreigners who who have to speak uh english so they helped me to improve my english while doing in that uh, serving period in himachal i was traveling a lot in the village areas and i have seen the village community there and deep in my heart i was i was slowly slowly developing myself you know my uh, um, the the uh, you know my aim in life my motto of my life my purpose of my life is to serve people because after that i was happy though i am not getting money though i am not earning much but some kind of a satisfaction is coming so slowly slowly i was developed after completing my one year i came back and they have said ki anyways you are going to work for uh, you know corporate sector instead of that why don't you join here we'll give you some salary which so you joined chinma mission i joined chinma mission as a professional and then last 13 years i'm associated with them and uh, i must say ki uh, that is the place where nobody judges me right and they always come forward to help me out uh i could see that you have also worked uh, in himachal pradesh yes so uh, could you just uh, tell us how it happened and how, what did you actually do there and yeah so you learned <laughs> your learning experience from there that is a great experience of my life uh, see himachal is a very nice place himachal pradesh of course it's a, like a dev bhumi mm-hmm. uh, uttarakhand and himachal these are the places where we can say it's a dev bhumi and uh, himachal is the place where five shakti peeth is there mm-hmm. like how we have kamakha devi temple there five shakti peeths are there so i am uh, posted there for 9 uh, months to serve in the village area so in cod like chinma organization for rural development they have appointed me one panchayat where i have to go i have to see the condition of the women i have to strengthen the uh, sg groups i have to see their uh, you know uh, knowledge about the sg running of the sgs slowly slowly they have given me the task to you know do the farming work like i have to uh, convince the farmers to get trainings then uh, i have to work for the adolescent girls who dropped out from the education who have the issues in menstruation program like that way i have done lots of projects there so entire uh, the panchayat was given to me and then said you go so i have done the alcohol awareness program i have done menstruation awareness program adolescent girls program then now uh, children program like i have to educate children and you have uh, i have just seen that you have also done some movie workshop yes 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 which yes. i am very interested to know about what actually is the so, movie workshop yeah the movie workshop is it, i have learned this movie workshop from chinma mission okay so like when we heard something uh, we do remember some of the part but movies are the things who create a lot of impact in our life yes so there are great movies which inspire us mm-hmm. so in that way we select some movies which is like 
you know very famous movies or maybe some you know uh, documentary and all where we uh, we conduct the classes and the youngsters and all they come they sit and they see the movie they watch the movie and then we discuss what the movie says about okay. like simple example i have given the uh you know uh, the, there is a called the peaceful warrior there is a simple movie hmm. where the the hero the main character he shows like how he was in a youngster hmm. and suddenly there is accident he lost his uh you know leg and then he want to be a uh, you know a gymnast and all so so how we uh, we can connect ourselves in the present mind hmm. how we can focus in our own strength and how we can work so in that way i conduct many movie workshop for um, you know exam stress then personality development then mm-hmm. uh, you know coping with stress like handling emotions like that way so i have selected and some and uh, i saw that in your cv you were we now what is you were we um it's a title i can say so when i uh, when i just recently i said ki i have joined the course youth empowerment program so after that youth empowerment program whoever done the youth empowerment program he or she uh, get the name of yuva veer okay so yuva and veer okay if you reverse the name hmm. yuva means vayu which is like vayu in the sense yeah. here she is hmm. like everywhere and the ravi so i have to be like a vayu which is like selflessly were and ravi so i have to be bright and uh, nios your present work with nios <laughs> and i was just going through this you have initiated on your personal level meri kaksha my classroom under swastika foundation ha where you are supporting drop out girls who could not uh, you know the under privileged girls who could not complete their education in class 10th or the 12th and at your own level you are benefiting 40 girls till today so that's an incredible work that you are doing yeah <laughs> so see uh, the thing is ki when i uh, when i work uh, social work and of course i have to earn some bread and butter so yes. i have to work. but my guru has told me ki whenever you go for a work and all you have to do some charity from your side mm-hmm. so that is uh, advice uh, from my guru so uh, when i was in uh, chinmay mission i was i was uh, conducting classes for the value education classes for children so there are, there are few girls so what happened the one girl she failed in 10th grade okay at that time i was working for an organization in uh, here in guwahati where they was running a, a school for the dropout children from mm-hmm. the northeast and they enrolled them in a national institute of open schooling from there i got the idea why don't i try to help them so uh, the the in chinmay mission the classes i conduct for the children there is a one girl who failed in 10th Uh, okay. a board exam so her parents was about to get her married because mm-hmm. she she is uh, she she is not uh, you know good in uh, education so she called me i went there and i said okay fine let's try once more so in the first year i got five children five girls who dropped out various reason the reason is behind is some are not uh, mentally strong okay in science maths but we cannot judge them because they don't know the science mm-hmm. men mm-hmm. some they have financial issues some they have like they have the children of five and being an elder one she has to compromise sacrifice okay. her uh, okay. education so i have enrolled them and then i started okay with my friend i have started the classes i said okay we'll go the first year was that these girls up with the five two has again dropped out because they they leave, left the city three girls remain with me and they they completed their 10th uh, board with the flying colors mm-hmm. and that is the time i said okay fine so the next year what happened seven girls came to me okay and each girl has their different stories mm-hmm. one girl she she got married but her husband has divorced her so oh. she came back with a child then there is one girl who dropped her education because she fall in love with the boy okay and she ran away from house mm-hmm. so all this story they came and i said fine uh, we have certain courses and uh, uh, schemes for the rural people for the urban people but there is a group of the children who have different issues and we should not being a person we should not judge them because they are not good in education okay so every year uh, you know like 10 12 students comes 
and now slowly what happened the you know there is a school uh, the principal of the school in uh, Dr. Uh, Sushila principal ma'am Sushila Pardon she called and said there are students who who left the school because of various reason so i used to go to the houses i convinced the people and the parents and the students so i enrolled them and initially i was uh, i was the one who has earned money and from my salary i was giving them money and then doing this now slowly slowly i i look for some charity also so till that i i just want to uh, you know increase the number till year, this year i have 50 students okay. who has completed and yesterday night uh, the sec, uh, 12th grade uh, you know result came out i have seven students girls you know all are passed oh wow all are given like from morning i was That's, getting call that, that is the yes. i mean i think it's it's a kind of positivity that you have put into their lives and this is one of the greatest satisfaction a person can get giving back to the society yes and uh, with the kind of professionalism that you have shown in different kind of uh, you know work that you have done whether it is in the solid waste management or the rural development or women empowerment water sanitation and hygiene disaster risk reduction and all the other uh, areas where you have ventured and uh, at the you have represented india at the 19th world festival of youth and students in russia and that was sponsored by the ministry of youth affairs and sports government of india yes oh i am sure that was a big achievement for you yes that is an another golden feather i think say golden feather it says yes golden feather in my cap um yeah uh, see the thing is uh, i have i have received a national youth award mm. here i would like to mention that uh, my seniors who has already received that award they were kind enough who guided me for this award okay but i haven't received that award in a one one time okay, okay. i was rejected from there three times so you have lot of rejections <laughs> yes. in your life but then you are <laughs> an achiever you know yes, uh, the viewers who are just uh, you know hearing our conversation uh, there has been so many uh, you know failures in, in the life of sumi but even then they could not deter her from her determination to achieve and do something that she really wanted to do failures cannot put you down if you have a very good determination to achieve something and that's really wonderful i am i'm very Uh, fortunate that you are part of my uh, pixel narratives with anutosh she is a motivational speaker and she has delivered over 100 talks in schools and colleges focusing on topics such as personality development interpersonal communication individual transformation and volunteerism now the question that uh, is coming to my mind right now you have done so much work that uh, many uh, people in a lifetime would it, it would be very little that they could have achieved what else what else is there in your mind that you really want to do and change the face of the society um see fa- changing the face of society is quite difficult i may not be able to change the whole society but at least i can j- change myself and the people who are uh, around with me so uh, uh, the thing is i have uh, I, i just want to continue the good things i can and uh, of course uh, the achievements uh, which i got it they, they increase my responsibility like you said um, oh, i just want to continue that i have uh, rejected five times from my uh, Republic Day uh, Parade. Republic Day Parade camp. Then I have applied for Indira Gandhi National Youth Award. That is also rejected twice. Then I applied for National Youth Award two times. That also is rejected. Then my senior uh, Henry D. Teron, Jayant Da, all they came and they said, "Last time you have to apply." I said, "I'm not getting it. Nobody is going." Because what happened? No, the system of our here, no, they don't recognize the youth. What? i was i was literally uh, running after the sports department mm-hmm. because the fi- that one that time it was like manually you were doing so i have to go to the you know the from the peon to top to the director office 
So literally the second time I saw the my performer was not sent to Delhi because there is no one, no peon to go to the post office. The third time when I called my seniors and uh, I, I went to a uh, director, the sports director and said, sir, this is my for my life, you have to do it something. So he wrote a line and then he instructed everyone, this performer has to go. So I remember there is a six o'clock, uh, five o'clock and the peon said, Ki, we are closed. And that is like Friday. Monday we will send you your performance to Delhi. So what else we will do? We just requested them and said, okay, fine, let's go with you. We will bear all the cost of yours, uh, like fuel charges. And we paid him 500 rupees to go with us. So he oh, gone. It's, it's, it's really, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it is, uh, it always happens. First, in the first place is, one, when a person is doing so much for the society, why does he or she have to apply even for an award? The society should you know, recognize the achievement of a person. Why do you have, we have to apply and then run from pillar to post to send your applications? I, I am not really very much convinced with this kind of thing. And but now uh, the time has changed. Now online everything comes to online. Yes, and it should be. Time. It should be because yeah. yes, a uh, lot of changes are happening uh, in the government uh, also, uh, the functioning. And, and here I just good. want to send that the rejection has not yet stopped. Ah, because, rejection is again. <laughs> because uh, for the uh, you know, uh, uh, I always uh, feel that good work is acknowledged at some point of time. Yeah. There are people who are watching you, there are people who have been seeing the kind of work that you have been doing selflessly for this society and uh, yes, I am sure uh, the people whom you have touched, they are your biggest awards and your achievement. Yeah, So that was, uh, you know, not, I mean we are not even halfway through your uh, work that uh, you have done. Now, what else uh, uh, is there in your mind that you want to do? Um, uh, after so many of rejections, I have, uh, you know, I received some unexpected gifts. Like, um, I, I just want to add you, ki, you know, uh, for the uh, after award, there is a supposed to ministry has to send uh, the awardees to the uh, international youth program. There also I have rejected for five times. <laughs> Finally, in 2017, because they said this is not criteria is matching and all. So la finally, I have received uh, 19 youth festival in Russia. So I said that is my only Russia trip. That okay, fine. But fortunately, I was not expecting uh, key for the second time also I have I will get the same opportunity. So this year again I have represented India for uh, youth festival in Russia. Oh, wow. And I'm represent. I have represented to India again. So, so this is that's, that, that's what I say. That you, when you do some good work, <laughs> you uh, your focus is with the work that you are doing. Recognition will definitely come from anywhere. Yeah. So the you, you I know the National Youth Award in 2013-14. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, and prior to that, you have got and you represented. India uh, in the youth festival in, in Moscow, uh, I mean twice, so it's yes, really twice. wonderful and uh, it was very nice talking to you to know about the dedicated work that you have been doing under various NGOs in Assam and uh, your experience and the kind of uh, approach that you have towards the society and the, towards the people who do not get opportunity. I am sure that uh, those who have uh, viewed this uh, video podcast, uh, they must have come to know about the wonderful work that people have been doing in isolation. It was really wonderful talking to you, Sumi. Thank you. And uh, so that was a conversation, very mm -hmm. honest conversation with uh, Miss Sumi Roy. I am. Uh, speechless after listening to her and the kind of work that she has done. So with that we have to end up today's edition of Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. Next, in our next edition we will be talking to another person who will be sharing his or her life experiences.